For Amazon announced 14,000 job cuts. Meta eliminated 600 employees from its super intelligence research lab. Let me start with something brutally honest. AI isn't replacing software engineers right now. Tech layoffs are. Ah. And the scary part, most engineers who got layoffed this year didn't see it coming at all. Today, I want to talk openly about what's happening in tech, why engineers at any level are vulnerable, and the three types of leverage that actually protect you, your income, and your mental health. Stay with me. This might be the most important video you've watched this year. You have probably felt it. The tech industry doesn't feel stable anymore. Hiring is slowing down. Teams are shrinking. Budgets are messy. Promotion paths are blocked. And every month we hear about another wave of tech layoffs. And look, this isn't personal, but it affects every single one of us. Pretending it's just a phase doesn't protect anyone. There is also this myth that layoffs only hit juniors or only mid-levels, or only seniors, because they are expensive. But no, tech layoffs hit everyone, just for different reasons. Juniors get cut because companies can't afford long onboarding cycles. Mid-levels get cut because they are the biggest group. Seniors get cut because entire product lines shut down or because they cost the most. Your title doesn't protect you anymore, your leverage does. Now let's talk about AI, because everyone links layoffs to AI in a dramatic way. But here is the truth. AI isn't replacing engineers. AI is replacing low-value engineering work. Boilerplate, tests, basic debugging, documentation, all repetitive tasks. If your value stops at I write code fast, AI can do that faster. But if you can think, communicate, design systems, make decisions, AI makes you more valuable, not less. AI isn't causing tech layoffs. AI is exposing engineers who don't have leverage. Let me share my personal wake-up call because it changed everything for me. Recently, my company went through a major layoff round and even though I wasn't affected at the end, people at every level around me were gone. Seniors with years of experience, mid-level engineers, talented people, good people, gone in a single day. And honestly, it hit me harder than I expected. It affected my mental health. It made me question what stability even means. I am financially stable. But I realized something, if my entire life depends on one employer, that's not stability, that's dependency. That moment changed the direction of my career. If this resonates, make sure to subscribe. Everything I'm sharing here is meant to give you real leverage in a very unstable industry. So let's talk about what actually protects you. The three types of leverage every engineer needs right now. Number one, career leverage. So become irreplaceable inside your company. You don't need to be the smartest engineer, but you need to be the one who brings clarity. You have to own features end to end. Ask why before doing how. Communicate early, solve ambiguous problems, understand business impact. People who bring clarity rarely get cut. Number two is personal leverage. Build something outside your job. If tech layoffs have shown us anything, it's that relying on one employer isn't real safety. You should start building something your own. A YouTube channel, a newsletter, personal brand, digital products, anything that gives you options. Even a small audience can change your life. Personal leverage removes fear because you are no longer tied to one company. Number three, financial leverage. Use your salary intentionally. Your salary isn't the goal, it's the tool. Use it to build runaway, to invest, to learn new skills, to buy freedom. 
to buy time. The more financial breathing room you create, the less you fear layoffs. Real safety isn't your job, it's your options when your job disappears. So here is the truth, AI isn't your enemy, layoffs are not your fault, but relying on one employer in an unstable market is not real safety. You need leverage, career leverage, personal leverage, financial leverage. And to help you start, I created a free 90-day escape plan for software engineers. It's a clear step-by-step -step roadmap you can follow while you are still working your 9 to 5. The link in the description of this video. And if you want to keep building your leverage, watch one of the videos on the screen now. These two are the perfect next steps if you want more stability, more clarity and more freedom in your tech career. Thanks for watching and I will see you in the next one.